One of the most common critiques of rap music is that it lacks musicality. That, unlike rock and country and classic music, which has guitar and other instruments, rap fails to serve a bigger musical purpose. And for the most part, I get it. In hip-hop, all you see is a frontman rapping lyrics with a DJ playing a backtrack. To the naked eye, it's hard to get a true grasp on the composition that takes place. However, anyone who's done any remote dabbling in hip-hop would know that there's poetry, rhythm, dance, and musicality throughout the genre. Take Kendrick Lamar for example. If you listen to 2015's To Pimp a Butterfly or 2017's Damn, you hear layers, moods, and complexities that not only took a massive collaborative effort, but was directly influenced and inspired under Kendrick, a perceived rapper behind a mic. In a 2017 interview with Rolling Stone, Sakari, producer of the track Love, spoke on the creative process with Lamar. After letting the Compton rapper hear the record and then leaving it with him, he came back to something completely different. According to Zakari, Kendrick added his own production, among other enhancements. He filled in the spaces perfectly, Zakari says. He sang over the hook, so it's almost a call and response between us. It was an unusual process for sure, but I love what he did with it. Like Kendrick, rappers nowadays are a lot more involved in every step of the creative process of a record, and you sort of have to be that way. These days, you have to be a jack of all trades when it comes to being a hip hop artist. You can't just know how to rap. So of course, there's musicality in rap. In fact, here are 10 rappers who not only rap, but put together some of the hottest production in the game. At number 10, we got Mac Miller. God bless the ones that have passed away. If there was ever a question on how Mac Miller was musically, his untimely passing earlier this year reminded everyone in a hurry. While he may have started out making what some would call frat rap with tracks like Kool-Aid and Frozen Pizza, he grew to become a student of the game. Building off the piano skills he developed as a child, he picked up instruments and even incorporated jazz and blues into his later work. His last album, Swimming, was critically acclaimed and features a lot of that jazzy soul he picked up in his later years. At number 9, we got Pharrell. Pharrell's been rapping and producing for as long as he's been in the game, and it shows. Arguably more than any, the musical touch in hip-hop. Starting out with his punkish band, The Neptunes, Pharrell eventually ventured out to produce some of rap and pop's most iconic tunes. Most notably, however, was his 2013 run. He sang on Daft Punk's Get Lucky, co-wrote Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines, and he received seven Grammy nominations in some categories competing against himself. And his song Happy was featured prominently in the movie Despicable Me 2, not to mention the fact that it was iconic and transcending in nature, bringing together all walks of life from all over the world just to enjoy his song. If you're going to mention hot producers and rappers, you got to mention Pharrell. At number 8, we got Chief Keef. While he may have gotten into the producing game later in his career, he's only 23, so he gets a pass. Yes, number 8 on my list is none other than GBE Glowboy, Chief Keef. Mind you, the drill sound that Keith popularized is quite simple. Heavy 808s over a repetitive melody. He and producer Young Chop built quite the rapport coming up out of Chicago. But in 2012, the Cali transplant decided to dip his hand in the craft. 2014's Back From The Dead 2 was his first real stab at producing, with all but four of his 20 tracks being produced by him, and he has only grown since then. At number seven, we got Soulja Boy. If it surprises you that Soulja Boy is on the list, it means you forgot who was the first one doing this internet rapping stuff. Yes, Big Gucci Soldier is one of the best producers out, and all the disrespect is truly saddening. When Soldier Boy came into the game in 2007, he was one of the first to optimize the internet. His debut single, Crank That, Soldier Boy, was initially self published on the internet and later became a number one hit in the United States for seven non consecutive weeks. While Soldier Boy receives a lot of backlash for killing hip hop and having dumbed down bars, his songs all did numbers and they were all produced by him. At number 6, we got Big Crit. 26 year old Mississippi native Big Crit has been rapping and producing for as long as he's been making music. Since making a splash in 2012 with a single country shit featuring Ludacris and Bum B, he's been navigating the major and the underground waters catering to his niche fan base. While always known for his ability to put words together, it wasn't until he started really revealing that he's the one behind the melodies that he began gaining respect in the producer field. I started making beats out of necessity because I couldn't afford to pay for them. And then you know you do freestyles over other people's beats, but it's not as original. For me, it was like, alright, I'm gonna start making my own beats. 
and it started on MTV Music Generator. That was like the first thing I started making beats on, PlayStation. He tells a mass appeal in the interview. At number five, we got Russ. It's not easy to like Russ. Matter of fact, a lot of people don't like Russ and say he gets L's all day long. He brags about not doing drugs, he can get corny at times, and also likes to brag about how well he's doing. Kind of arrogant. But, goddammit, he's doing pretty well. His latest album, Zoo, debuted at number 4 on the Billboard 200 charts. Following his release on September 7th, Zoo managed to move 79,000 units in its first week. But even more so than the album sales and the sold out tours, the man produces all his own stuff. On speaking of Billboard on his debut album, Russ mentioned the hard work he puts in. There was no features and I produced it, I mixed it, I mastered it, engineered it, and wrote the entire thing myself, he said. That shit is not regular. Six, seven songs on that album have plaques. Peep him making a beat here from scratch. Say what you want about him, but you gotta respect the hustle. And at number four, we got Travis Scott. Long before Travis Scott had the number one album in the country, one of the richest girls in the game, and selling out arenas, he was a producer from Houston, Texas. I started picking up beats like at 16. I got really serious at 17. That's when I put together tight beats, he tells Complex in a 2012 interview. It wasn't until Kanye discovered him and threw him on 2012's Cruel Summer that he got worldwide recognition. Now Travis is 26, with over a decade under his belt making beats, and he's pretty damn good at it. Just in case you need a reminder of his bangers, his contributions on his own album, Astroworld, speaks for itself. He partnered with Mike Dean and Jay Beats on Stop Trying to Be God, teamed up with FKI First on R.I.P. Screw, as well as others. At number three, we got Tyler the Creator. The first time that Millions saw Tyler was when he was eating and regurgitating a cockroach in one of his music videos. Now, he's curating the soundtrack for 2018's motion picture, The Grinch. If you know anything about Tyler, you know he's of the arts and has a creative itch that even he at times cannot scratch. He has his golf wang brand, label, an annual carnival called Camp Flogna, and television shows. You wouldn't think the 27-year-old Grammy nominee would try to produce his own stuff, but he does. He's done the Por Vida track, almost all the production on Flower Boy, and so much more. Tyler kinda has to be in the conversation. And number two, we got J. Cole. J. Cole's catalog is dense. With five albums and three mixtapes under his belt, North Carolina's Finest has made a career off of thoroughly piecing together projects and even more thoughtful songs. As he has grown up in the game and evolved as an artist, Cole has expanded his style to touch young people as well as old hip-hop heads alike. And now a veteran in the game, Cole has since proven what he can do on the mic from the Come Up mixtape and the Warm Up mixtape, which is my favorite, to the KOD album. But Cole is also quite the producer. Cole has been arranging beats as long as he's been rapping, since receiving the first sequencer at age 15. Self-taught on the keyboard, Cole's sound transitions from hard bangers to soft melodies, and he's always trying to master more engineering techniques to compensate for strings and choirs. In case you need some refreshers, here's some of my favorite Cole produced tracks. 2013's Power Trip, 2014's GOMD, which of course is Get Off My Dick, and Workout. On top of that, he's also produced for other rappers like Wale on Bad Girls Club, DJ Khaled on They Ready, Fabulous is Louis Vuitton, and Pusha T's MPA featuring Ye and ASAP Rocky. And of course, at number one, I'm sure we've all guessed it, it's Kanye West. Earlier this month was the eight-year anniversary of Ye's My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. The arrangements, the production, and the overall mastermind of the entire project speaks for itself. It solidifies Ye's legend and is arguably one of the greatest pieces of work of all time. Kanye's prowess as a producer can never be slept on or understated. In fact, that may be one of the toughest things about his latest political rants. It makes us lose faith in Ye as a brand. But contrary to his questionable mental stability, he still is one of the best in the game. Just this summer, he did what most producers couldn't even dream of, produce five albums in one summer. Kanye might even have gotten an album of the year producing credits on Pusha T's Daytona. So while Kanye is already in the history books, don't sleep cause he still got it. This was a Hip Hop Madness original. Make sure to stay tuned and stay up to date on everything we got going on by hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Hip Hop Madness and join the movement.